Shades of Vengeance presents Stiletto Unit 447 CE, a continuation of the story of the Consortium. You have indeed managed to defeat the, the evil store owner, who probably deserved everything that he had coming. Uh, you are now continuing on your way back towards Old Bob. Is there yeah. an empty sort of alleyway or something? Uh, alleyway. Yeah, you can probably find somewhere, yeah. Yeah, I need to change out my facial morph of Guard Sergeant Bob. Okay. I don't think Old Bob would be too happy with Guard Sergeant Bob. Uh, no, no, he might get confused. <laughs> yeah, fair point. He, he is an old Zimian, you know. Um... <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're you're gonna find an alley and and try and do that. So what I want you to roll me is a stamina and uh, stealth, please. Because it hurts, to... you know. You're trying not to cr scream out in pain. Five. Yep, you have facial morphed back into Nora Sobak, uh, hero of the black market at the moment, and no one even noticed you were gone. Not even the party. No, you were you slipped away from the back, rejoin them, you're back to normal, no one noticed. Five successes, that's a lot. No one noticed. It's, it's not gonna... And honestly, no one was really paying that much attention to you. So you approach old Bob's stand. Yeah, yeah. Just... Um, and and as you walk up, uh, you're, you're also, you didn't get the anti-grav back, did you? You left it. So, um, yeah. Uh, so he's, he's going to look at you and go, oh, uh, how was that? Did it work? Uh, I mean, did they pay? Yeah, they, they yeah, paid. They uh, here's the fingerprint. Cool, cool, great. Um, excellent. Okay. Um, where's the anti-grab? Uh, they needed to use it for something else. So they're just borrowing it, and we'll pick it up later. That was my anti-grab. We'll swing by and pick it up back. So, uh, well, I mean, if, if it's being returned, then, yeah, I mean, I can't pay you until it's back here, obviously. I turn to Flixie. No, I just send a message to her. Just, mm -hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and facial morph to someone else no one knows who we are and they'll retrieve it. I can't facial morph. I can. I thought everyone could. Didn't you, did you miss that day in class? Orientation? Come on. I do not have a facial morph. Uh, I mean, yes, it would be useful if I had it, but I don't. Nara has it. God damn that stiletto unit funding, huh? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll tell you what. I will pay you apart from a deposit for the return of the antigraph. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds fair. That's yeah? Fair. Okay. So if you return the antigraph, you can have the remainder of the money. That's a thousand credits. Um, but I'll pay you a thousand credits now. Five hundred ahead is agreed. Okay. With a little more due later. Of course. With the return of the anti-grav. Indeed. Well, yes. The the return of the anti-grav. That's right. Yes. The next epic quest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, he, he transfers a thousand credits to Relu Flissy, who claimed yep. to be the leader of the group before, if I recall correctly. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Um, so he transfers a thousand credits to you, Relu Flissy. You now have a thousand credits. Nice. Okay, I got that. Uh, I, I'm afraid I don't have any more work for you now. I mean, the, I'll obviously contact you uh, if you give me a, a, a way of doing so. I'll obviously contact you as soon as uh, anyth anything else comes in. Okay. I mean, you can yeah. give him like a, a an email address. Yeah, I'll, I'll basically give him mine. So. I, I'm just trying to think. What's the name of your mercenary group? Oh. Like, like, what, what, came up with one. what? What are you going to claim your, the name of your mercenary group is? Oh, I've got one. Mm -hmm. Shades of Vengeance. <laughs> 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 okay. So okay, I will run with this. Fine. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I'll run with it. All right. You, you, you give him reluflissy at shadesofvengeance.org. <laughs> uh, okay. That's fine. Uh, and and he says he'll contact you when he has some more work. Okay. Yep, that's I will keep in touch. That's what you always say. 
Yeah, he's not very. He's not super happy with you, I would say, because of the loss of the anti grav. He's he didn't want to lose that. Alright, we'll, we'll we'll try our best to get it back. We'll try our best. Having yeah. having delivered the laser cannons to uh, Ixatanka, you're aware that his next step is to uh, meet this uh, smutty security individual down in the research pods. I believe you know that she is a female human and not much else. Mm-hmm. We're already, like, moved away from old Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You aren't just standing around in front of his stool, no. No, no, yeah, okay. So... You need to figure out which research pod he's going to be in. You don't have yeah, that information we need to yet. Figure out. There are a few ways. There are a few ways you could do that, but um, mm-hmm. you need to figure that out. Hmm. I did tell you before that you had uh, a period of time, and now you know you're, you're approaching. You know, there's maybe an hour before the meeting is scheduled to take place. Right. We 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 need to find this research pod area real quick. I mean, everyone knows where the research pods are. Yeah. It's just there are hundreds of them. Oh. Yeah, the question is, is which one they would be. Yeah. Mm. When we're given a vague number range. Uh, yes, you were. Um, there, there's a there's a number of of pods which uh where they often take place. Mm-hmm. Um, but you don't know which one of those, and and I believe the number range was about between fifty two and seventy one. Thank you. Nineteen. It's nineteen. One what? person per five pods, and one person for four pods. Uh, the problem is that you'd have to then do it during while the meeting was going on, and you wouldn't have any time to prepare because you wouldn't know ahead of when the meeting was going on. Uh, right? We we just have to take a guess, basically. I'm going to contact Stone to see if uh, he's heard anything about a meeting going on in the research area. Research uh, unfortunately, box. Stone is still busy. If you recall, you tried to contact him before. And he's still he's still unavailable. Damn it! He's in a, a very very serious business negotiation. It's with his mistress. Okay, we're all resistant to, so we all should kind of know the tricks that all of us try to use. Yeah. So, mm. how about someone looks at the uh, uh, I'm itinerary or whatever things are might be computer logs. Computer, computer logs. logs about bookings or something. Yeah, that well, might in the, in the... ring a bell. Like, hey, that's the stuff we kind of use. Or, hey, isn't that isn't that one of our commanders? Isn't that the last name of one of our commanders? Maybe they're using it as a signal. Interesting we, thought. We, we do use like mm-hmm. some of the logs for like registering and all that on the resistance. So. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it, that's a very so, good thought. Yeah, it's good. There, it, that's a good idea. Maybe we can try to search the logs. Um, from the research pods. Okay, so if you want to access the research pods, you can look through. It's relatively trivial. No one's trying to hide what's going on down there. It's mm-hmm. part of the sort of tacit agreement within the station that some your security doesn't interfere. Yeah. So um, you can look at them, and I'm going to need someone to roll me an intelligence and esteem. Intelligence and esteem. And I don't think any of you have any esteem. Uh, I can put. Uh... But you do have king of all traits. Go for it, Nara. Okay, Nara. Um, I will actually let you throw in your larceny as well. My larceny. I think your well. unique experience <laughs> through, you know, figuring out where people are to steal from them probably gives you a bonus to that. You want me to use full larceny or half larceny? Full larceny plus esteem plus intelligence. They so got more dice to play with. A lot more. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't help much because I've only got three, but you know. Oh well. Uh, the thing is, you see, Ixatanker is a bit of a maverick. Um, however, you actually noticed on pod 63, Ixatixel has booked for half an hour. In about half an hour. I don't think yeah. Ixatixel's supposed to be here. Uh, as far as you know, Ixatixel is not here. He's back on Lugus. I mean, otherwise, why didn't he come with you? Like, he would I have had he... to leave a few hours after you did. Wait. I think we do it because if nothing else, if he is there, it's just funnier. <laughs> Wait, why, why would his name be here? They're using his name instead of their own. Well, they um, hope so. <laughs> and they're too. They're like, oh, this is stupid. Let's use him. Yeah, but 
social resistance would use a false name or somebody else's name, that's for sure. It yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you think that you have a lead, that the meeting is going mm -hmm. to start in pod 63 in about 30 mm -hmm. minutes from now. What are you going to do about it? Should we... Can I send them into space? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> what goes around comes around, right? Uh, I, I mean... Like, we, we know let that mission succeed first, then jettison them into space. We know that we're supposed to protect them, so I say we we know what Plus, pod, or we believe we know what pod we're going to. Yeah. So what route would possibly problems come down? Well, we're not. Well, we're supposed to not get spotted by them, so. Yeah, we're not mm. supposed to get spotted by them, so we're not trying to uh, bug in, gather information from them. No, so no, of course to... not. We're just keeping an eye on them. Yeah, so, so we should look at that. The revenue or the routes that people could come to try to get them, or possibly, uh, actually, you know, he is paranoid about uh, surveillance, so I wouldn't try to look into the system to go ahead and try to prevent them from being bugged. He's going to probably do it himself, so. Is there a blueprint of the area? There is, and not only that, I'm going to let each of you analyze it in a way of your choice, so listen carefully. Mm -hmm. You can use intelligence and gunnery to understand how uh, armed troopers might attempt to, you know, storm their way in. You can use intelligence and stealth to try to figure out uh, how people might sneak in to the pod. You can use intelligence and larceny to think about how an experienced, um, shall I say, uh, uh, an, an experienced thief might get into the pod. And bear in mind that all of these, uh, you need to assess what you know about Ixitanka and figure out what he might have allowed for and therefore what Smurty or Security might try if they're trying to make their way in. Mm. Um, and I would say finally, uh, you could do an intelligence and explosives if you wanted to, to figure out how people might try to destroy the pod while the meeting is going on. I'm going down the last new route. You're going for larceny? Okay, who is going for gunnery? Yeah, I got five gunnery. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll go for stealth. So yeah. that leaves explosive for... Control. <laughs> yeah, which is probably for the best because the only other thing I have larceny, which is a single point. <laughs> Fair enough. So that is... Six, seven... Is it just seven for me, or is it nine? Uh, oh, yeah, nine. you won't get the extra two for stealth, no. Gotcha, that's why I want to double check. Yep, no. Good call, thank you. Five. Okay, Bonsai, you done? Five. Right. So, um, the pod basically has two obvious entrances and exits. One of them uh, is very, very close to a lift shaft which means it would be very easy to access from the top of the station. One of them is uh, actually leads kind of through about through about five other pods to the other end. So, and, and some of those pods are booked out. So in order to get there through there, you would actually have to stomp your way through five other pods. That's not very likely to happen. They're likely to come down that one route. In fact, that is very likely why Ixitanka has chosen this particular pod at this particular time. There's only one way in which the, the enemy can come from. He's hoping that if that happens, there'll be warning, I'm guessing. Um, right, uh, Relu Flissy, how did you do with your stealth? A measly one. <laughs> um, there is no stealthy way to get into this pod except maybe through the outside, you know, and, and you'd have to be crazy to try that. Yeah. Uh, it's like, there's no way to stealth into that. There's no way you would do it. I don't, I don't see any roots yeah. that somebody can stealth. Well, I mean, these, these, you know, these, these pods, they're spherical. They're about three meters in diameter. Yeah. Um, like, it, it's impossible to not see someone in that space. Yeah. Like, they're well lit for the most part, except where they're damaged. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's impossible that they wouldn't see you. So, no, there's no way that you can see a stealthing it. Hmm. 
I, I tell this to the group. So, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming all this gets shared with the group, so tell yeah. me if it's not. Um, Nara. I got five for larceny. Five for nice. larceny. So, if you were planning to rob the people in this sphere, <laughs> what you would do is you would actually... You would actually hide in one of the corridors and be ready to pickpocket them as they go past. Right? I'm going to prepare to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. It's um, research. It's research. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that, that's how you would do it. You would, you would hide in one of the corridors. You'd pretend to be sort of a, one of the homeless people who live down there. And, uh, and, and you would um, sort of beg them for something and grab um, and finally, uh, uh, we have Qatar with his explosive assessment. Uh, yeah, six successes. Six successes. So, there are about 15 different ways you can think of blowing up these pods and killing everyone inside. Um, mm. the, the, the main ones are, uh, you could do it from outside with a, a ship of virtually any size. You could ram the pod. Or you could deploy someone to put explosives on the outside of the pod... To, to blow it up while the people are in there because then the doors will seal off and trap them inside. Um, mm. You could also obviously mine the entrances so that when the entrances open, when they try to exit, they both get killed. Same argument. Of course, everyone in the corridor next to them would also get killed in that circumstance. Does Murty or security care? Um, uh, you could also uh, actually... Because of your six successes, you found that you can actually disengage the pods. Um, there's actually a way of disengaging the pods if you know the codes. So you can just let the thing float away and they'll run out of air pretty quickly. Mm. Those are kind of the, the top the top four ways that you would take out anyone in that pod if you if you were up for it. Right, gotcha. So there you go. That's your assessment mm -hmm. after looking at the blueprints. Uh, mm. you, you probably now have 20 minutes left to prepare something. Hmm. Uh, is there a, a janitor around? <laughs> a what? A janitor, a caretaker, a cleaner. Oh. Uh, in, in, in the research pods or in the black market? Just around anywhere. Uh, roll me an intelligence investigation. Uh, it's my... Two. Um, there is a nearby stall which says Flogs Janitorial Services. They offer to clean your ship. Um, they clean your ship from top to bottom. Uh, at least that's what the slogan says. Mm. That's, that's not... no use to me. No. That's it. I then. need a new facial morph. That's it. Flogs oh, Janitorial Services. Gosh. How about a homeless person? Is there a homeless person? Oh yeah, but not in the middle of the black market. No, like obviously. the kind of alleyway that you found to 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 do the facial morpher, there were probably a couple of homeless people who saw you, except that you had five successes on stealth, so none of them saw you, but they were there. <laughs> uh, can I find another homeless person? Absolutely, it's you don't even need to try very hard. Okay, um, okay, so um, is this homeless person happy for me to? Borrow their face in exchange for services. <laughs> okay, now oh it's like God, carbon is. It's not like you're gonna be like, I'm gonna carve this off. Charisma okay. seduction? <laughs> Ten. What? <laughs> yeah, alright. It should kill a few hours. A few hours. <laughs> and she arrives three and a half hours later. Looking like a homeless person. By the way, uh, what what kind of homeless person did you did you select? Human, Ulutian, Zimian, Valithi? Human. It's it's easier to face a more human to human. Male or female? Female, I think. Okay. Um. So you uh you you approach the the, the nearest female homeless person, and uh, offer services, and um she recommends that you that you actually book a cabin because it's a bit public where you are. Okay. Let's book a. A rundown cabin, then. Uh, a rundown cabin. cabin. Yeah, any any old cabin, you know. How much money do you have? How much money do I have? Forty credits. <laughs> it's very rundown. 
Yeah, the, the problem is the minimum you can pay for is one night. That's all that's needed, really. And that's 35 credits. That's fine. I'm hoping Relflix will pay uh, the, the share at some point. I wouldn't yeah. count on it if that's how you spend your money. <laughs> Save the receipt, expense account. Uh, it's for uh, important mission purposes. Yeah, I am looking forward to you explain to Ixatixel that the reason that you spent this money was, uh, and you're trying to now expense it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. That should be interesting. So, uh, yeah, you 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 vanish for a period of time. Uh, now, the the intention is that 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 it will be for several hours of services. So, how are you going to get out of that? Shocker, of course. Oh, obviously, yes. Uh, so, so, so you get you get to the cabin. You shocker the poor the poor woman. Um, you you facial you you copy her. Presumably, you facial morph and steal her clothes. Uh, yeah. I'll steal Double willpower. They smell really bad. <laughs> you got a cabin. Wash, wash. Oh. On the bright side, at least she gets new clothes. And her face is just used for criminal activity. <laughs> How'd she get new clothes? She's going to be left naked. Four. Uh, no, Nara would have to leave her clothes, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. She can have my clothes. It's the least I can do for shopping her. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, they're very smelly, but uh, you've suffered through worse for bigger scores. Uh, smaller scores, rather. Um, <laughs> hey. Um, so, yes, you are now prepared, although the half hour is pretty much up for you. What are the rest uh, of you going to do? I got a quick question on uh, because I'm in humano humanoid form and in armor. Does my uh, remarkable uh, convincing allow me to go ahead and uh, look like a human if I facial morph? Or... Only if you spend 24 hours doing so. Uh, 48 hours doing so. So it takes you a while to morph. Right? You're in humanoid form, but you didn't specify you were looking like a human. You still look like a Valithi. Right? So you'd have to change again. Okay. So you could smooth out your skin because you are remarkably good at that. But, but it's like I have to originally go and but say I want if you smooth. if you facial morph and wear your armor, you possibly could get away with it yeah let's not do that <laughs> <laughs> okay that, that was pretty much my question i'm gonna go ahead and just go up to uh that one point we talked about where you mm -hmm. said uh like the air ducts or whatever and i'm gonna go ahead and uh hit up there pull out my little buddy who we're now friends with yeah 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 no yeah high five <laughs> Yep. Let let him go ahead and like crawl down there first to see if it's like clear, all the way down the air duct or wherever the world is to the spot. It's it's an actual corridor that you found. Are you are you going for an air duct? Oh, I thought when you mentioned that, I thought you said something about an air duct. No, 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 no. It was just a corridor that went to the elevator and a corridor that went through all the other research pods. Okay. Well, um, I must still pull him out and send him a certain distance down there to go ahead and see, so I can see from this side and. From where he's at down there. Yeah. That's early warning. Yeah. And uh, before I go, I'm just going to take the grenades and just shove them um, into Katal's arms before I walk away. <laughs> Say nothing, just shove them into his arms. Just shove them into his arms when I walk away. Okay, then. Um... Okay, so it looks like looks like at least two people are splitting away from everyone else. Oh, great. Split the party! Not what, are again. what are you going to do? Um, should we talk out the area, Katal, or something like that? Would that be suitable at this point? Yeah, I was going to make sure that... I was going to try and make sure there weren't any explosives set before... Because of Tanker. Yeah, I can confused with the... Because... Yeah, but kind of. <laughs> well, remember they were they were actually broodmates, so. Right. Yes. That's why they have similar names. Uh, yeah. So I want to try and get down there before they arrive to make sure there aren't any. Yeah. Let Let's observe the area. Then that would 
and make it uh, much more safer if possible. Uh, you, you, you want to observe the area from the inside or from the outside? Because as you know, there was a, there was a danger of external... Yeah, of the outside area. Oh, gosh. Mm. And and bearing in mind that that between them, um, Nora and uh, and and Bonsai have expressed a, an expectation that Nora will be on the research pod side and Bonsai is watching the lift side. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I keep, I'll check the outside then. Um, Bonsai, are you going to try and check for explosives? Because uh, Katal obviously raised that potential issue. Do you want to? Do you want to check? Yeah, you know what? I will. Okay. Uh, intelligence and explosives, please. Um, okay, so you guys are going to go outside. Yeah, because <clears throat> there could be a much more bigger risk with the outside than the end, possibly. Yeah, so um, what are you going to do in order to get outside? That is a good question. Oh, yeah. Katali obviously still have the Zimian breather bubble you grabbed. I don't think you returned it. Uh, no, I didn't. Mm. Uh, Bonza didn't time. ask for it, so... Mm. And, uh, and Relu Flissy, uh, you'd probably need a spacesuit or something? Yeah, I, I would need some type of, uh, spacesuit that would keep me breathing in out, in the outside, so... The players were George as Bonsai, Katie as Relu Flissy, Rina as Nara Sobek, and Robert as Katal. The GM was Ed Jowett. Era the Consortium was created by Ed Jowett and is copyright Shades of Vengeance Limited. We'll be back with another episode before long, but if you'd like to find out more, please visit our website, www.shadesofvengeance.com.